For the past 30 years, Horton's Kids has had a presence in D.C., serving communities east of the river. Erica Adud is executive director. And the idea is that we work with children from uh, the earliest stage of their academic career, so pre-K all the way through high school graduation. Now they're centralizing with the planned opening of a hub in the hills of Anacostia at what used to be the New United Baptist Church. This church has been a presence in this community since 1972. It's a landmark. Everybody knows where it is. It's kind of a safe space. And that made it advantageous for this program. The final touches are underway in the conversion, outside and inside. There are still signs of the building's former mission amid the fixtures of the new one. When we were originally looking, this sort of came up out of nowhere, and we contacted the, the pastor, and they were very excited about the possibility of passing the baton. This hub will also be the nexus of a local collaboration with the nonprofit called In a Perfect World. Um, I started uh, the, the program itself um, in honor of Prince. Manuela Testolini was married to Prince from 2001 to 2011. The organization and this presence in D.C. with Horton's Kids is an offshoot of that collaboration. And our work together for many years um, and extending kind of that philanthropic legacy of, of helping kids find their voice, and especially kids in their under-resourced communities. They've donated a music lab, instruments, and production equipment to realize the value of music, art, expression, and shaping young lives. There is so much evidence that it supports mental health and well-being, it supports academics, it strengthens our ability to connect critical thinking. Some of it is sort of basic health and wellness, so we do a lot of diapers and food pantry, uh, coats and toiletries and things like that. Um, to really helping parents finish their own education. Back when I was living in Wellington Park, it wasn't like really the best. Gerard Thompson started with Horton's kids when he was five years old. Now he volunteers with them. They had the resources, they had the tutors, they had pretty much everything that I really needed at a young age. That you can come in, you can relax, you know, the, the, vi the vibe feels right, um, you know, the programming is responsive in a way that makes you feel heard and respected. The new center will officially open at an event next week. In Anacostia, Derek Ward, News 4.